All right, we are back on the record now. Mr. Clay, your next witness. Bill Carr. Uh, Judge yes, sir. Carr. There he is. He's got a scheduling conflict, yes. Your Honor. I've been made aware of that. So if you'd raise your right hand, please. Do you swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but? Thank you, sir. You may have a seat. Good afternoon, sir. Would you state your name for the record, please? Bill Carr. How do you spell that last name? A-A-R-R-E-R. -R -E -R. Do you hold any elected position currently in Spencer County? Yes, sir. I'm the county judge executive. Do you know Mr. Jones? Yes, sir. Can um, may I approach the witness, Your Honor? Yes. I'm going to show you what we've marked here as <coughs> Exhibit 1. You get the black and whites. I got okay. the colors here. Can you tell us, do you have copies of those, sir? Yes, sir. In your file there? I have them in the file and on, on my uh, Kindle. Okay. Can you tell us what those photographs represent? Uh, those are pictures of the home at 3650 uh, Mill Road, sir. Okay. And tell the court how you came to take those pictures. Well, Ms. Holland had mentioned to me one day that she did not have any pictures of that house. And I said, well, I'm, I'm out and about. I can take pictures of the house. So... I did that All right. on several occasions. How many occasions did you go by there? It was probably over one or two weeks. I can't remember exactly. Now I can look on the Kindle and give you the, the dates and the Let's times. do that, please. Okay. Get to behave. second here to get back to that grouping. like this is the last one that I took in the series and it would have been taken thing when it was taken it's not being a cooperative here we go info all right this uh, the last in the series would have been taken on Wednesday October the 22nd at 9 51 57 p.m. Can you tell me which one of these photographs you're referring to there none of those sir uh, okay. this one would have been taken at night um, and now I do have some. Those are on here, too. That was the last one. This one was, well, you just heard the time. And I'm sorry. We, I'm not sure the court got that time. Would you okay, repeat sure. that? I, I didn't get it, so I apologize. 9.51.57 p.m. Okay. So just before 10 o'clock at night. You know what day of the week that was? It says it was Wednesday, October the 22nd. All right. Any signs of life there? Uh, the only thing that shows there is, and the Kindle's not real great at night, but it does show a light on in the, uh, what I thought to be, I'm not sure, but looked to be the kitchen window. All right. Was there a car parked there? On that particular night, um, I think there was, and one of these will maybe show that, um, Back up here just a bit. Uh, this one, this one is again October the 22nd of 2014 at 7:09:05 p.m. earlier in the evening, where things would show up a little better. And yes, there is a car in the driveway that evening. What kind of car is it? Can you tell? Um, in this picture, you really cannot tell. 
but from what I saw and the uh, and then I, from what I've been told and took another picture, it's Mr. Jones's. Uh, I think it's a Lexus, like a small SUV. All right. And what time was that? This one was at at um, uh, what did I tell you? Seven oh something in that evening. Um, and I can also tell you that that night when I came back later, uh, that I could see that car there, even though the camera didn't so much pick it up. Uh, but I could see it there. All right. Uh, that was Wednesday, October the 22nd at 7.09.05 p.m. You got any other pictures there at night? Um, yes, sir. The same point. That's the same evening. Let's see what this one is. That one is the same day earlier in the day, um, about two o'clock in the afternoon. Here's one in an evening. Let's see what that one is. Uh, that was the same series in the evening. I got a proposal, Your Honor. Okay. Let's let him get off the witness stand. Let me call another witness, and he can get a better handle on when these photographs were taken. Any objection to that, Mr. Trey? I'm fine with what we're doing here, Judge. I bet you are. I don't blame you. <laughs> Let's continue on. Okay. He's got an appointment to make anyway, so. Yes, sir. We don't want to interrupt his appointment. County business. Now I'm getting into Tuesday, October the 21st. This is at night. And again, in this particular picture, uh, you can only see that one light on in the kitchen. Or can what, you see what a vehicle? Saying, no, sir. There was not a, that one night was the only night, only day, only time I ever saw a vehicle in the driveway of any sort. How many nights were you there? Could go through here and see but i'm going to say three and then several days okay and i've got photographs from the day you days. have the days yes sir. right that's exhibit one okay were these photographs all taken on the same day no sir were they taken on different days yes sir can you identify the dates on which these photographs were taken well yeah i can <laughs> back up here ways Pictures. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, this would be the first one. The 
first one was taken on Tuesday, October the 7th. All right, which one of these photographs is October the 7th? Let's take a look here. Let's get out of this one. Did you say 7th, Your Honor? Yeah, October yes, 7th. Is that it? That's it, yes, sir. All right, I'm going to write on the back of this 10 7 14. Okay. Is that correct? Yes, sir. All right, that's one. What time of day was that taken? Do you know? Uh, that was about two o'clock. I can tell you here in a second. Uh, yeah, two o two o five p.m. Yes, sir. Now you want to know about this one. Now this may be, this one looks like a blow up, if you will, of that one because I wanted to get the address. Right. Okay. So that one was the same day. I was thinking it was October the 7th, 2014, 2 p.m. All right. You said that was the same day? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. 2 11. 2.02.11 p.m. Was the time of day, yes, sir. Was the time of day, yes, sir. Well, what's the next one we're going to look at? Well, you tell me what you got there, and I'll see if I can find it. Okay. Let's uh, show me the picture, and then those will... That looks like this one. Yeah, it does. Let's see that, that other one. There. No, that's a head on show. No. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sorry. You're that's doing right. identifying. I apologize. That's all right. It's all right. If you see something I don't, let me know. No, it's not that one because, see, there I'm in the truck. Those are all in the suburban, so truck doesn't count is for what we're looking at here. And it could be that all of those were taken that same day because I took them and then gave them to Ms. Holland and then I continued to take uh, uh, pictures. As you can see that, you know, those that I just went, see that's in a different vehicle. How many pictures did you take of this place? A bunch. <laughs> Why? Well, after after I found out what was going on, I said, well, I'll just take pictures and okay. see what we can see. And All then right. then I thought, well, you know, probably talking about it at night, that would be important. Uh, so uh, uh, my wife and myself, she drove, and then I would go up and I'd take pictures. So can you give us a date on which these photographs were taken? Those apparently were all taken on the, what was the date I gave you? 10 7. It, all right. Yeah. And within a relatively short period of time. Any evidence of any landscaping in those photographs? Well, if, uh, yes, there's some, and especially if you, if you were to take the time to blow them up, if you will, you can see some flyers and things like that out here. All right. And I'm not a uh, landscape expert, but if that's what you're talking about, yes. Did you see, how many nights did you drive by? I'm thinking it was three that I did, and I, and I did them early in the evening and then later at night. And that was the ones that were really dark, that where you can't see really, the camera wouldn't pick up anything but that one light in the window. Of those three nights you drove by, how many times did you see a vehicle there? Just the one night, sir. And how many times did you drive by during the day? Well, um, typically if I went, I would just drive by the one time. When I started taking the pictures in the evening, then I would go in uh, around 7 o'clock or so, like the records show, and then later on uh, closer to 10 so that I would... Uh, um, would uh, it would be dark and and or if somebody was going to be home you would think that typically they'd be home by that time of night all right how many times during the day would you drive by well if i if i went 
just during the day, I, I went one time. But then if I, uh, uh, if I was doing the evening uh, photos, I may have gone up as during the day, uh, during regular business hours, if you will, uh, and then in the evenings, and as many as two times. How many times did you drive by that property, say, in the last six months? Oh, gosh. That would be hard to say because, I mean, I, for instance, when I leave here, I'm going to go to Mount Eden. I will drive by that property. So depending on what, what the job entailed, um, dozens. <laughs> Other than that one night, you ever see any signs of life there? No, sir. That's all. May we move to introduce Exhibit 1, Your Honor? It is, uh, will be introduced as uh, Plaintiff's 1. Judge, do you mind to Mr. Hand Chairman, may have some questions for you. <clears throat> I'm sorry, sir. You might hand me those. Oh, sure. There. Thank you, sir. Sure, do you need this? Thank you, Your Honor. At any point. Judge, my name is Guthrie True, and I represent uh, Ken Jones. We have never met before, I don't think, have we? No, sir. Okay. Um, Ken is uh, now the elected Democratic County Attorney. You would agree with that? He was elected, yes, sir. And he you would agree elected. he's a Democrat? Uh, I, can't ever, I can't tell you that I've checked his registration, but from every indication, yes, he is. Really? No, sir. Okay. Do you, know, do you know what ticket he ran on in May of well, 2014? Yes, As a and Democrat. what was that? I'm what sorry, was that sir. ticket? The Democrat ticket. Democratic ticket. Yes, and you presume from that that he's a Democrat, yes, right? You are a Republican, is that correct? That is correct, sir. All right. Now, Mr. Clay uh, has indicated, you may, may or may not have seen it, just assume for a moment that Mr. Clay has indicated in some press accounts that uh, he and Ms. Holland have some surveillance information concerning uh, Mr. Jones. Are, are you the surveillance information? Yeah, I guess you can say I might be part of it. I don't know of anything else. Okay. And the photographs that you've, some of which you've told us about, some of which you've shown us, were they all taken in October of 2014? Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> uh, you've, the how did it come that you took photographs of Ken Jones' house? Um, this is the house at 3650 Mill Road in Spencer County. Is that right? Uh, yes, sir. All right. Mm -hmm. And why don't you just tell us, how did it come that you were driving by, you and your wife driving by at different times during the day taking pictures of Mr. Jones' house? How did that come about? Well, as, as uh, I told Mr. Clay, uh, Ms. Holland had... Uh, um, I knew that she was looking into the situation, and she said, I do not have any pictures of his house on Mill Road. And I said, well, I, I can take some pictures of the house on Mill Road. At the time, I didn't even know where it was. So in, in all honesty, the first trip I took to find and locate the house, uh, I didn't take any pictures. I was, I, I looked okay, to but see. But I, then what I, I want to know is how, how this came about. So this came about through a conversation with Ms. Holland. That's correct. And in this conversation, when she said she was looking into this, you're talking about uh, filing a, uh, an election contest. Is that right? No, she was looking into whether Mr. Jones actually lived here or not. Okay. That was and, my understanding. And so why would she be interested in that other than filing an election contest? Well, as, uh, as I understand it, um, <clears throat> It's um, and she didn't even really say anything about filing for uh, for the election, but uh, of course anybody would be interested in whether their elected official actually lived here or not. I understand that, and the other thing being, as an attorney, if I understand the her and, and uh, Mr. Irby correctly, uh, if they had knowledge that the person that was the the county attorney wasn't legally there, it's their responsibility to report that. Okay. So they had a concern from what I understand from them. So they let me be concern. sure. I, okay. Is it going to be your testimony here today under oath that at the time 
you volunteered to take pictures of Mr. Jones's residence that you were unaware that Ms. Holland planned to file an election contest. Is that your testimony? Yes, sir. Okay. And did you then ask her, well, why do you need pictures of Mr. Jones's residence? Well, did I ask that question or was that it is an understanding on my part? I understood that she was was deeply concerned whether Mr. Okay. Jones was had the residence here or not. And why did you volunteer? I mean, as the chief elected official in the county, why did you volunteer to go lurking around somebody's house taking photographs of them? If I can correct you a little bit, sir, uh, I never entered the property, just so I can be clear on that, and the photos will show it if, if you want to look. I never left the road. I took all the pictures from the road uh, and from the vehicle. So, uh, but at any rate... Okay, well then let me clarify my question. Why would it be that you, as the chief elected official of the county, then go out on the public road and take photo volunteer to take photographs of the re home residence of a private citizen? That, that's a fair enough question. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying it. Uh, I think probably as much as anything, I did that because uh, she was concerned, uh, and I did it not so much as an official, uh, but because I, I've known Ms. Holland and her family for, gosh, uh, probably 25 years or so. And, and so when she, was, she had this concern, and I said, I will do that for you. Well, I mean, why didn't you say, well, boy, that's a good idea. Why don't you get somebody to take some photographs? Or why don't you go take some photographs if you got that concern? I guess I'm curious as to why you, as the chief elected official of the county, would volunteer to do that. Well, sir. You, you do uh, understand how that I, strikes I, me I, as I can peculiar? understand that. I can understand that. And I can also tell you that that uh, people ask me to do uh, what you may consider many strange things and, and locating properties and doing things of that nature. Now, is it my job to do that? Sometimes yes, sometimes it's, okay, I can do this for you. I'll, more of a, of, as a decent human being, if you will, uh, than anything else. And uh, did you support Ms. Holland when she ran for uh, county attorney against Ken Jones? Well, I don't know how you can say support. I mean, I didn't do any campaigning for her. Uh, I, I certainly couldn't vote for her because she's a Democrat. Right, you, you so, can't vote in the primary. Right. right. Um, so, uh, did you vote for her when, you, when she did a write-in campaign? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, did you, when you had an opportunity to speak to people about the county attorney primary that was conducted in May of 2014, did you encourage people that Ruth Hollum was a better uh, candidate than Ken Jones? Sir, I kept my mouth shut about everyone during the campaign. I did not get involved on purpose. And you're saying you never spoke to anyone and voiced a preference for Ruth Holland over Ken Jones. Is that your testimony? I would not say that, sir. Okay. I mean, I didn't it, think you would. It, yeah, I just... So you supported Ruth Holland, didn't you? You wanted her to be elected? I would say that, yes, that would have been my preference. I'd worked with her for most of four years. I had no complaints. You voted for her in her writing campaign. Yes, sir. You realize that the voters of Spencer County uh, voted for Ken Holland over uh, Ken Jones over Ms. Holland by about a three to one margin in the primary. Uh, I, I don't know the margin. It was great. Yes, sir. It was sub substantial, yes, wasn't sir. it? Mm -hmm. It was kind of like uh, Kentucky versus Kansas last night, wasn't it? I have no idea. Wasn't that I don't sweet? Follow sports. Yeah, that was a that was a beat down. <laughs> okay. Uh, Now, your photographs were all taken in October of 2014, is that right? That's correct, sir. Your Honor, we'd ask the court to take judicial notice of the fact that the verified motion to disqualify a candidate pursuant to KRS 118.176 was filed of record in this court on October 24, 2014.
<clears throat> it is noticed. Were you aware of that date? October 24th, 2014 was the date that Ms. Holland filed her uh, verified motion challenging the uh, candidacy of Ken Jones? I, I don't know if I'm aware of that particular date. I knew it was really close, excuse me, to the, uh, the day that I last took pictures, but I, I can't say that I'm aware that that was the date. And is the date that you last took pictures October 22nd, 2014? Uh, yes, sir. And you said that night you took a photograph at 9.51 p.m. in the evening? Um, I'll take it. It was okay. something like that. And that was when you saw the Lexus there yes, in the sir. driveway? Yes, correct. You were there earlier that night at 7.09 p.m. taking a photograph? Uh, yes, sir. All right. Uh, you were there earlier that day at 2 p.m. taking a photograph on October 22nd? That sounds correct, yes, sir. You were there on uh, the evening of October 21st, 2014, and you saw a light on in the kitchen? Yes, sir. Um, what I assume to be the kitchen. Or you I, saw a light on in the house? That's correct, okay. sir. Uh, at any point in time when you were out there taking pictures, did you go knock on the door? No, sir. Uh, you were, were you sitting in the courtroom when Dr. Jones testified? Yes, sir. Okay, and that was probably the first time you understood that Ken and Vicki Jones were out of the country. They were in Cancun, Mexico for a week in October of 2014. Is that right? Um, yeah. First time you were aware of that? Yes, sir. Whenever it was, that was the first time I knew anything uh, about it. Probably the first time you'd heard that over one of the weekends in October 2014, they were, uh, it may not have been just a weekend, but they were in Madisonville, uh, Kentucky. You hadn't heard that before, had you? No, sir. And you, when Mr. Clay asked you how many photographs you took, you said it was a bunch. Yes, sir. <laughs> Uh, now, I'm going to ask you a little bit more. How many different days were you out there taking photographs? Well, I, I'd have to look here. I, I think that I told Mr. Clay in looking at the pictures, the first one was October the 7th, according. Okay. All right. So and at 9.51 p.m. on October the 22nd, we know is the last. We've been in the last, yes. So how many days between October the 2nd and October the 22nd were you out there taking photographs? I, I, the exact number of days, I do not know, sir. I'd have to look on here and it would tell me, but I do not know. Okay. Uh, Judge, do uh, you ever take vacations? Yes, sir. Uh, do you leave Spencer County when you take vacations? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you consider your residency to change when you leave Spencer County to take a vacation? No, sir. Do you have a, a vacation home anywhere? Uh, our family does, yes, sir. And where would that be? Lake Cumberland. Lake Cumberland. And do you go there with some frequency during the year? Not as much as I'd like to, but yes, I do go there on occasion. And. You spend a weekends there at times? Yes, sir. And you probably go down and spend uh, some vacation weeks there, I bet, don't you? Um, I don't know that I've ever spent a week there. Uh, but you but go down early, you know, Wednesday night oh, sure. or something, and come back Sunday yes, night. You do that, right? Yes, sir. Do you consider your residency to change when you go to Lake Cumberland to, I don't know, which county is it in? Is it Russell. Russell County? Yes, you sir. go to that end of the lake? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's God's country down there. I like it. Yeah. Uh, do you consider yourself a resident of Russell County when you go down there? No, sir. Of course not, because you intend to return to Spencer County, don't you? That is you? correct. Are you, uh, do you consider yourself a, you said you know Miss Holland and her family for a number of years. Yes, sir. How many years do you all go back? I'm thinking about probably close to 25. Okay. And uh, did you and Miss Holland go to school together or what? Yes, What's the nature of the relationship? Um, I guess shortly after they moved here. 
just got to know them and you've been right. friends? You socialize in her home? Sometimes. She socializes in your home? Um, probably more hers than, than ours okay. or out somewhere. Has she ever been to your vacation home at Cut Lake Cumberland? No, sir. Okay. But you consider her personal friends? Yes, sir. Her husband, um, what's... He's in the development business, is that right, Construction, building? Construction, yes, sir. All right. And uh, he does a lot of work in Florida, doesn't he? That's my understanding, yes, okay. sir. And is, is that where he spends most of his time in Florida? The majority of it, I, I really don't know. I mean, he has large uh, chunks of time that he's down there. That is correct. Uh, would you... You've known the family 25 years, so you've known her husband probably. You've known him that long. What's yes, his sir. name? Bill Holland. Bill Holland. Hard for me to forget that, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> Bill Holland. Would it be, uh, based on your estimate, your knowledge of the family, would you estimate that he spends half the year, half the days in a year in Florida? I, I really don't know, but I mean that's that's possible, but I don't know. I mean, but, yeah. would it be pretty close to that? You think? It would be yes. Okay. Does that disqualify Ms. Holland from being the county attorney, in your opinion? No, sir. I think that's all, Judge. Thank you. Redirect, Mr. Clay. No, sir. <clears throat> no further questions. Thank you. All right. You may step down. Thank you, sir. Your next witness.